When fostering an animal, surprises are in the nature of the job. However, nobody could have been prepared for this. When Rosie, the golden retriever mix, gave birth, the owners could not believe their eyes. They couldn't stop screaming. Rosie is a run-of-the-mill golden retriever mix. With her golden honey-colored coat and soft eyes, it's a wonder that she was abandoned at all. Who could ever think of deserting a face like that? Well, apparently her owners surrendered her to the nearest shelter in 2017. With the coldest of hearts, the dog was left at their doorstep. The already overwhelmed shelter took Rosie in, of course, but it was one more mouth to feed, one they couldn't really care for. So when they figured out that she was in fact pregnant, it made matters much worse. They didn't think it right for her to have to give birth in an overcrowded shelter with very little assistance. The shelter simply did not have the resources to care for her and her soon-to-be newborns. Unsure of what to do with her, one of the employees of the shelter came to work one day and knew exactly the right place for her. The Noose River Golden Retriever Rescue up in North Carolina, headed and run by the Blacks, Kate and John. It is a rescue center that specializes in the rehabilitation and fostering of Golden Retriever-like dogs. It was the perfect place for Rosie. Kate and John had been passionately fostering and caring for Golden Retriever-like dogs for a long time. They had personally fostered over 20 dogs at one time themselves. They were also quite experienced with labor and birthing issues, so it really was a no-brainer, an instant solution to their problem. The shelter contacted the Blacks and were ecstatic to hear that they would take in Rosie, the only problem being that she was heavily pregnant at this point, so transporting her to the Noose River Golden Retriever Rescue was a risky task. She was first cleared by a veterinarian before making any moves. Once all cleared, off she went to her new uh, home. Upon arriving at the rescue center, she settled in really well. Kate and John couldn't get over her beautiful nature. She was so affectionate and calm, human-like almost. She socialized well with their other dogs, making friends everywhere she went. About two weeks after arriving, Rosie began to slow down. She began distancing herself from the other dogs and no longer wanted to eat. Kate knew this to be a sign of labor approaching, and so began preparing the new mother-to-be. Only she herself was not prepared for what was coming. John set up a whelping box and helped Rosie become accustomed to it, so when the day finally came, she knew where she needed to be. It was a sunny day with bright blue skies when Rosie went into labor. Kate and John were on hand helping her. It was very important that she had an uncomplicated birth. They wanted to assist in any way they could. Providing Rosie with comforting reassurance and care, they helped her birth her four puppies. Only they had to get over the shock first when their first pup arrived. Kate was beside herself, screaming. John grew quiet. It was a sight too bizarre to even rationalize. Rosie had produced four healthy puppies. Big ones, too. But it was not their size that shocked everyone, but rather their appearance. An appearance that truly was so peculiar, even the most well-read would have been shocked. The golden honey-coated Rosie had produced four puppies that resemble nothing like a golden retriever at all, but rather cows. Their all-white coats were complemented by big black spots, just like a dairy cow. Kate couldn't believe it. She continued to scream with joy and utter disbelief. How on earth had Rosie carried four puppies that looked so distinctively different to her? Who on earth was their father? Thinking back, Kate and John had no idea who the dad was of the puppies because of Rosie's origin. So it made sense to some extent that the puppies could be mixed with another breed of dog, but with such distinct markings like those? They couldn't help but be baffled as to what breed the father may have been. It was so odd looking. Rosie looked as though she was taking care of another dog's puppies. There was no similarity to be seen at all. Astounded by the surprise, Kate took a picture and uploaded it to Reddit. It then went viral. Over 90,000 people viewed the post, with over 1,600 comments. People were reacting just as Kate had, absolutely gobsmacked at how the puppies looked. Of course, as is the nature of the internet and forums, People began to try and guess the breed of the father. Options like Jack Russell Terrier, Collie, 
and even Dalmatian were suggested. Of course, all were reasonably valid. However, the most likely one was Dalmatian. The very nature of these puppies' markings indicate clearly that it had to be a breed of dog that had distinct black markings in their genealogy. The internet community was overwhelmed by the sight. Some even commented on how Rosie herself looked confused in the photos, almost as though asking herself, these can't be mine, really, or whose puppies are these? And where are mine? Naturally, the puppies' distinct coats did not put Kate and John off their adoration for the newborns. It was love at first sight. Getting carried away with all the hype online, Kate then went and did something that made their surprise appearance even more endearing. She gave Rosie's four puppies famous cow names. Yep, you guessed it. Clarabelle, Daisy, Betsy, and Moo. Their names really fit the part, that's for sure. The online following fell even more in love with these adorable cow pups. When Kate posted this now famous picture on Reddit, her caption really did the situation justice, reading, not quite what we were expecting. Our foster dog and golden mix gave birth yesterday to baby cows. I mean, imagine that caption out of context. How truly bizarre to think a dog gave birth to cows. But when you look at the picture, you can't help but understand the caption and its brilliance. However, not all feedback was positive, as is the nature of society. Some people were really horrible. Going as far as accusing Kate and John of allowing Rosie to fall pregnant deliberately with a different breed of dog for social media attention, Kate was very quick to shut down this sort of commentary, explaining time after time that they had received Rosie while she was already pregnant and that as soon as Rosie was able, she was spayed to prevent any other pregnancies. They made it very clear that they did not endorse adding more unwanted dogs into the world, especially when you have current ones that are looking for homes. Soon after the birth, unfortunately, Rosie fell ill. It turned out that because of her big puppies and difficult birth, she had an infection, an infection in her uterus that made her quite ill. This then resulted in the blacks having to bottle feed the pups while she recovered, which she did thanks to modern medicine like antibiotics. Soon after, she was able to feed her own pups and experience being a mom. She really was a good one too. She would follow her pups around at all times, protecting and grooming them. She managed to maintain her health and feed the puppies well too, which only helped them grow larger by the day. Now, Kate and John did not only have the lovely Rosie to foster, but also four additional little bodies wobbling around the house and they loved every minute of it. But of course, as is the nature of fostering, their time soon came to an end with the little family. It was time to ensure that they all got loving homes. It came at no surprise at all with their internet fame that they very quickly acquired the most loving homes. It was a hard task for the blacks to part with their little cow pups. But sure enough, after they turned 10 weeks old, one by one, they were adopted. Even Rosie got a new, loving home after being vetted extensively by the Blacks. A happy ending for the entire family. Kate Black says she will never forget the scream she let out when she first saw the puppies. What a truly remarkable tale. If you liked this incredibly heartwarming story, like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.